The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this feast day of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I wanted to start my homily on a personal note to share with all of you something very happy for me that in three days' time, on January 1st, 2020, I will actually be celebrating my 20th anniversary of ordination in Rome. And if you could go back in time, if you remember 20 years ago, December 1999, the whole scare of the Y2K day, where we thought the world was going to come to a grinding halt, power grids were going to get locked up, computers were going to go down, airplanes were going to fall out of the sky, and myself and 22 of my companions were there in Rome waiting to be ordained. We were going to be the first 23 priests of the third Christian millennium, and we weren't even sure if the world was going to be around on January 1st, 2000. And it was just very exciting for me and also perplexing for me where I've been saying to myself, where did these last 20 years go? And it wasn't just these last 20 years of service, but I spent 14 years in the seminary before getting ordained. I was a bit of a slow learner, so I had a kind of a longer time in the seminary. But then this coming year, I'll be celebrating my 35th anniversary of graduation from high school, which again, leaves me kind of scratching my head. Where does time fly? But one of the really beautiful things about being ordained on the very first day, the third Christian millennium, as coincidence would have it, it was also my dad's 60th birthday. So in three days from now, when I'll be celebrating my 20th, we'll also be celebrating my dad's 80th birthday. So as a family, it makes it really easy to remember. And I wanted to share a little bit with you about my dad. My dad, just like in today's gospel, my dad's name is Joseph. He was a carpenter. He's now retired, so I guess I had to become a priest. If your dad is Joseph the carpenter, just the way it works. Um, but my dad was a wonderful provider for us. I remember as kids growing up, and really all throughout the entire years of our lives, he always provided. But I wanted to share one little story with you about my dad as the protector. And it's going to fit in well with the other points of my homily. Where we grew up in Tenafly, it's a nice little street called George Street. There are about 25 or 30 of us kids that we'd always be running around in the backyards and in the street and playing all with each other. And it was a very tranquil, <laughs> idyllic type of setting. But when I guess I was about eight or nine, and the rest of us were averaging in age between five and 12, um, there were these two teenage boys who lived a little further up the block. And they were teenage terrorists, basically. They really made us little kids scared. Um, just when they came by, sometimes they would throw rocks or do these different things. And one particular day, I remember, they scared all of us little ones, and we all went like running back into our homes. And my dad was like, what's happening? And we told him. And I remember being inside the house and looking out the window, and my dad getting a hold of those two teenagers, and they never, ever bothered us again. And I remember feeling so protected and so at peace, knowing that my dad was there to defend us and to protect us. That's really the first point of my homily. Today's gospel, right, we find Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Joseph the carpenter acting as the protector. And I keep emphasizing that idea of protector because I also want to bring you back in time to almost about seven years ago. It was on the Feast of St. Joseph. It was March 19th, 2013. March 19th, 2013. And we heard for the very first time the first homily of Pope Francis. 
He had just been elected a few days before, and his installation as Pope fell on the Feast of St. Joseph. And he gave a homily that, I have to say, riveted me seven years ago and has not left me in these seven ensuing years. And not that I've lived it perfectly, but it definitely changed me hearing those words. And his homily was all about St. Joseph, the protector. St. Joseph as being the one who protects his family, who protects baby Jesus, who protects Mary. But then he says something really interesting, and it fits in well with today's opening prayer. Today's opening prayer, we ask God to give us the strength to imitate the virtues of the Holy Family. And Pope Francis says in that homily, he says it's not just enough to say, oh wow, isn't that great that St. Joseph was a protector? He says, but how about all of us? He says, if you're a married man, are you protecting your wife? Are you protecting your husband? Are you protecting your siblings? Don't we kind of live in a world where everyone's kind of like attacking each other? And he really made us stop and think, how well am I protecting others? And I want that to be the question that kind of recurs in all of our heads this week. How am I protecting my coworkers? How am I protecting my neighbors? How am I protecting my children at home? How am I protecting my elderly neighbor? We're all called to imitate St. Joseph, the protector. All of us, without exception. And I want to end my homily with a fun story, but it's a story about protection. And you know, at Christmas this year, we had a man pass out at the 12 o'clock Mass. And it reminded me that every parish I've served at, and thank God it finally took me three Christmases to get it here, but we always have someone who passes out at Christmas. And it reminded me of the first time it happened to me. So it was my first Christmas. I was at St. Gabriel's Parish in Saddle River. It was 2001. And we used to do this really wonderful thing that sadly the Archdiocese that doesn't allow us to do anymore. But we used to incorporate the Christmas pageant into the Christmas Mass. So you'd have all these cute little first graders, all the girls dressed up as angels, all the boys dressed in like their father's bathrobes as like shepherds. And then we always uh, chose one eighth grade girl to be Mary and one eighth grade boy to be Joseph. I remember very well that year it was Shauna and Lewis, the eighth grade boy and girl. I just did Lewis's wedding last year in New York. But what happened is that we would also have a real live baby, real live baby. And it was a competition in the parish. Everyone would come up to me in November, Father, can my baby be Jesus? Can my baby be Jesus? We have all of these things. So the baby Jesus was selected. The real mom was like right there in the front row, ready there. And so we have Mary seated here, the real baby there, Joseph standing behind her, all the angels and the shepherds and everything. It was absolutely adorable. And I'm giving my homily from down here below, and I'm walking around, and I'm talking to the people, and mentioning the beauty of the scene. About halfway through my homily, all of a sudden, everyone goes, <gasps> I'm like, what's happening? I look around. St. Joseph fainted. St. Joseph, but he fainted just collapsing over her like this. And I had said to Shauna, who was playing Mary right before it began, I said, Shauna, whatever happens, you protect that baby. Whatever happens, you protect that baby. So I remember as I turned around to see Joseph slumped over her, Shauna looked up at me. She must have remembered my words. You know what she did? She pulled her shoulder in to protect the baby, and boom, <laughs> Joseph went down on the ground. So obviously, I had to change my homily. <laughs> and I said to everyone, I said, you know, but maybe this is what really happened. You know, because some of my friends decided that they would go to the hospital for the birth of their children, 
And two of my friends passed out there in the delivery room. So I said, maybe St. Joseph, maybe he passed out. You know, you never know what could have happened there. But anyway, in three days' time, we will begin a new decade. In three days' time may be the beginning of a new start in each one of our lives. May we not faint. May we not fail in our effort to protect one another as we begin this new decade of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.